and welcome to Tutors for Turtles. In this lesson, we will learn how to create and install Certificate Signing Request, that is CSR. But before we go into that, I just want you briefly to understand the difference between registering as an Apple developer that we did in lesson one and enrolling in a developer program that we did in lesson two. In fact, when we registered as an Apple developer, this will allow us to download iPad, iPhone SDKs, and access tutorials and develop-related materials. And this is all for free. And when we join in Lesson 2, the developer program for the iOS, we in fact paid $99. And at the same time, we are given the power to create application and distribute it into the App Store or ad hoc that we will talk about later on. In a second, I'll be showing you how to actually create a CSR. But to understand why we need to create it, you have to bear in mind that any app that is to be developed need to be signed and stamped locally on your computer with your program developing ID. This can only happen by binding your Apple program developing ID with your personal computer through what? Through the certificate signing request. All right, at this point, let's click on the application. And from there, you go to utilities. And from the utilities, you select the keychain access. Once you are in the keychain access, you have to click on the preferences from the keychain access, preferences, and then if you go to certificates, just make sure that the OCSP and the CRL, they are best attempt or you can turn it off, it's up to you, and the priority should be for OCSP. Okay, at this point, I'm going to close the preferences window, go to the keychain access, and then certificate assistant and request a certificate from a certificate authority. Here, you have to enter the user email address that is your Apple developer ID, the one that you created in lesson one. Make sure to enter it exactly the same. common name, you can name it whatever you want, and the CA email address, you can leave it empty. Now, the most important thing is to save your certificate because this is, by the way, your CSR. This is very important. So you have to save it to the disk and to somewhere that is accessible. Continue. I'm going to put it on the desktop. And this is your certificate here. I'm going to save it. I'm going to hit the done, minimize, and here you go. That is your certificate created successfully on the desktop. At this point, I need to submit my certificate for approval, and this will be done via the Apple provisioning portal. So we need to go to the developer.apple.com page as seen here and then we click on the iOS developer center now if you are a Mac developer center you click here if you're a Safari you click here depending on your program and I'm gonna log in log in with your Apple developer ID and password Hit the sign in. At this point, you will be logged in to the iOS Developer Center and you have to click on the iOS provisioning portal. Then click on the certificates. And since you don't have any request certificate, as you can see right here, you have to click on the request certificate and then you choose the certificate signing request that you've generated a second ago. 
At this point, your certificate will be pending approval, as you can see right here. And since you are the administrator of the developer program, you can approve your certificate yourself. Now, if you're working on a team and one of the teammates initiated the certificate, then the administrator is the only one that is allowed to approve it. But in this case, I can approve the selected for myself and then the status of the certificate will change shortly from pending into uh, activated and then the action here will be download. All right, now our certificate is approved and it's ready to be downloaded because once the certificate is approved, you need to install it on the SDK development system so that the Xcode can utilize it to sign any application you develop in the future. What we will do here is to click on the download button. As you can see, the certificate now is signed with a provisioning profile. Everything checks out. We just need to open, double click on it. Automatically, it goes to the keychain. And now, if we log into the keychain, we can see it ready to be used and valid right here. So guys, in a nutshell, what we've done in the last three lessons, first we registered for an Apple developer ID, and then we enrolled in the Apple developer program, that is the iOS, and then we created and installed successfully the certificate signing request, and it went into our keychain, and now we are ready to start developing real application in Xcode and testing it later.